These roads are just awful. Oh, especially after California. Well, you're talking as if you're not in your own home country. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm home. I'm home, Mom. In my home country with the terrible roads. <laughs> okay, thank you for the ride. Mm -hmm. And Ma, you were right, Tatiana's mm -hmm. much prettier in person. It was very nice to meet you, uh, too. What, you're saying goodbye? No, let's go to my place. Celebrate your arrival and get acquainted. <sighs> oh, sure, I oh, can't. Oh, don't argue. Who do you think I cooked the pie for? <sighs> okay, better not argue. Come, mm -hmm. come in. <sighs> well, isn't that something? Well, how long can he talk on the phone? <laughs> Shura, don't worry about it. He needs to talk with his friends. He hasn't been home in a year. Well, it's awkward. The tea is getting cold. Oh, that wasn't the deal, was it? And what did you do for me? Just as we agreed. So then listen to me very carefully. Now you'll deal with my terms. You will bring as much as I tell you to. <sighs> and you should thank God that I haven't decided to put a spell on you yet. Private Eye Tatiana, Celibacy. Well, so? Nikita, how long can you talk on the phone? We've been waiting a half hour for you. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I lost track. <laughs> you look upset. Oh, no. A friend called. Everything's perfectly fine. So, well then, mm -hmm. to meeting and to new acquaintance. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, he's okay. He's just not very serious, that's all. And he just talks about the internet and his computers. How many times have I told you that you're never gonna meet anybody better than Andrew? Look, Svetlana, go in alone. <gasps> Why is that? The last thing I need is to talk with witches. I'll talk and you'll just sit there. This is gonna be my first psychic session and I'm scared to go alone. Do you really believe that this Eleanor will magically give you personal happiness? I don't know, but I'm willing to try it. Or do you want me to be unhappy for the rest of my life? Go on in, unhappy <laughs> girl. Yes, my premonitions were absolutely correct. I had felt your trouble right away, and the cards have confirmed that. So what's the matter? Won't you tell me? The situation's very complex. Someone has cursed you. What do you mean? <laughs> Someone put a hex on me? <laughs> hmm. It's been a long time. About 12 years ago. Yes, you were young and inexperienced. Without realizing it, you aroused a lot of envy in one evil woman. She envied your youth and beauty. Excuse me, but I don't see a curse here. Is it possible to hex a person with envy? Envy can't hex anyone. But it can compel people to do very bad things. So let's look. Hmm. I cannot speak that woman's name now. Hmm. I can see that. 
She looks very morbid. Mm. She's very thin. She was somewhere in her 40s then. She often traveled to the village by train. Mm. Oh, I think I, um, remember there was a woman like that in the neighboring house. She kept arguing with the kids in the yard. Mm -hmm. You know, Eleanor, you should work in criminal investigation. <laughs> no, that's not for me. I have another purpose in mind. Although it seems to me that there are such spiteful, grumpy women in every yard, and I don't believe they are all witches. I did not say that she was a witch, did I? She went to the village to see her aunt. She's a sixth generation witch. What did she do? She laid upon you a celibacy curse. With no one man will you ever be able to find happiness and peace. <laughs> Is there a cure? Well, it can't be cured at the polyclinic. But I can try to help you. But it will be very difficult. You've been cursed for all of your life. Please, I'm begging you to help me. And don't worry about the money. Take I your time. I'll take the money when I see the first results. And now I need to have your photos, old ones, in which you are around 15 or 16. Yes, yes, of course. I'll bring them. Is tomorrow morning okay? Yes, that's fine. You will take this amulet, wear it always. It will draw worthy people to you. If you meet a man who is destined to be with you for eternity, he will not be able to get away from you. He will do everything to get closer to you. And if again he turns out to be a swindler or just a drunk? Out of the question. The amulet will frighten bad people away. Hey, miss, where What's are you your going? I want to see your hey, liar. Uh, Don't you make a fool of miss, me. Miss, you can't go in there. Oh, Madam so Eleanor what? has a visitor. Miss, hey, Wonderful. hey, stop. Let them hear this. Come back here. <sighs> Madam Eleanor, I, I told her she's not allowed here, but she... What's wrong, Agatha? The thing is, you lied to me. You promised that Jaden will forgive me and come back to me. And now he's going to marry another girl altogether. <sighs> will you please calm down? I warned you, didn't I? I told you that your rival is going to put a spell on him. I'm working on it. I just need more time. <laughs> is this true? Are you lying? Miss, do you realize who you're talking to? Stop being so rude. Agatha, it's okay. We must forgive people for their momentary emotions. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me. You know, I'm really short on cash right now. But instead, I, I can give you my grandmother's bracelet. It's really old. Well, usually I don't accept payment in the form of family heirlooms. Go to the waiting room. I will finish up with my clients, and we will discuss this issue privately. Miss, get out. You hear me? Come along. It seems not all your clients are satisfied. It happens sometimes. But that girl, I'm afraid, is a bit unstable. I'm concerned that she has some mental problems. <laughs> well, did you see how your sorceress helps people? She promised to return the groom, and he decides hmm. to marry another girl. She said that it was some kind of a love spell. It's not a joke, Tatiana. Wait a sec. Where could I have seen her before? Who, Eleanor? No, that young girl. The one who came to fight with her. Maybe from one of your cases? <sighs> yes, I remember. A year ago, in a restaurant at Volkov's birthday party. And what was she doing there? She's his daughter. Oh. Pauline, I believe. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if Stepan knows his daughter gives family heirlooms to witches.
Hello. Hello, Nikki. So, are you planning on having a little party? <laughs> Why a party? I just don't like to shop very often. Ah, oh, let me help you. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. What, is it heavy? <laughs> Not really. Uh. You know, in California, I don't really like shopping either. I usually order takeout. I call, they bring. Really? <laughs> it's convenient. Nikki, <laughs> why are you standing there? Bring the packages here. Sure. <sighs> That's it, here I come. Where's your four-legged friend? I don't know. Sleeping somewhere. Uh-huh. I get it. Want some coffee? No, I don't like coffee. And what do you like? Well, let me show you. <sighs> but I don't like that. Why not? Just that. You don't like tender embraces and kisses. I don't like your persistence, Nikita. Ah, sorry. You are right. Um, then let's have that coffee. Here, why don't we just sit here quietly? Why torture yourself, then, if you don't like coffee? Well, I mean, I can certainly bear with it for your sake. You'd better go home, Nikita. Uh, and what's the problem, really? I don't understand. Mom said you didn't have anyone. And that is none of your business. Go on. <sighs> and <laughs> don't you worry. I won't tell your mother anything. <laughs> I get it. Your number is busy or temporarily unavailable. Bye-bye. Madam Eleanor, may I come in? I brought the photos you wanted. <gasps> Pauline killed Eleanor! Are you sure there was someone in the next room? I heard the floor creaking. You're sure you're not imagining it? I'm telling you, Pauline hid in the next room when I entered the salon. Although I was scared to death, I realized that if I had left her bracelet on the floor, she would have taken it with her and the main clue would have been gone, so I took it. You trained me very well. Sveta, would you stop talking about clues? I don't actually believe that Pauline could kill someone. That's a mistake. It's clear to me. Eleanor didn't want to take the bracelet instead of money. They quarreled and then started to fight. And the girl stabbed her with the dagger and then the bracelet fell on the floor during the fight. Sveta, maybe you're psychic too, huh? Hello. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. We were held up at the crime scene. Have a seat. Well, what is it? So far, nothing special. We should ask Eleanor's cards. Did you question her assistant, Agatha? She has an alibi. She was stuck at home with a sick child. The doctor came to her at 9 a.m. and stayed about 40 minutes. And the forensics report puts the time of Eleanor's death between 9.30 and 11. Well, I'm telling you, it can only be Pauline. 
We don't know yet whether she was in the salon today. She could have left that bracelet when she was there yesterday. All right, we'll watch the surveillance footage, and it'll be clear who came in and when. Have you checked the next room? Maybe there's something there. It's small, a storage room. The experts are dusting it for prints now. Zveta, sign your statement now, and then you can go. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a ride. Uh, Chief, Chief, mm -hmm. uh, you, you promised. All right, all right, bridegroom. Tatiana, hmm? take Vasily with you, won't you? They're neighbors. With Svetlana now. Vasily, did you move? You rented the apartment? Well, it's not mine. It's Aliana's. Oh. Well, consider it yours. Her daddy, a banker, made it a gift for the upcoming wedding. It's on East Avenue, in a new building opposite your house. Mm-hmm. Andrew. What? You don't think Pauline could have... Oh, no, it's nonsense. Hello? Uh, I get it. I'm so glad I caught you at home. Uh, otherwise, I would have died right here from remorse. Yeah? Well, you definitely won't die. From a lack of modesty and self-confidence. How about this? Let's make a deal. You let me in. And I behave properly, like a boy on his very first date. <laughs> I bet that you got handsy on the first date when you were a boy. Well, technically not. <laughs> All right, I like small uh, no, roses. No, it's not over the threshold. Tradition. Well, okay, come in. Uh, may I? <laughs> So, uh, would you accept this bouquet as a sign of my sincerest apologies and deepest respect for you and your sincere girlish pride? I haven't decided whether to believe your repentance or not, and I'm not inviting you in. It's a mess, and there's nothing to eat. Oh. <laughs> 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 then let me invite you to a restaurant. You will allow me to atone for my sin during a pure and modest, innocent dinner tonight, all right? Just don't think I'm going to forgive you right away. But I accept your invitation, but only for one trivial reason. I'm tired and I don't want to cook. Okay. Yes, and remember, if you want to keep communicating with me, then please don't repeat your previous attack, all right? Of course, no. May I? See you later. <laughs> I really like it. How about you? <laughs> well, you know, it's kind of improper to praise your own work. Well, for instance, would you be ashamed to go out with such a man? Well, if you're talking about your head, then no. Well, then I'm asking you to do me the great honor of going out with me. <laughs> and do you often ask women out like that? Often? It's my first time. I'm kind of shy, but I had no choice but to ask you out. You're so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Call me tomorrow at six and... Hmm. Yes. Thank you for saying yes. See you soon. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Can you believe that? Congratulations. <laughs> oh, no, you could have been a little more obstinate. It all happened so suddenly, you know? I was just confused. Uh, well, maybe it's the amulet that witch gave you to wear. Eleanor said that this amulet is going to attract men. If she hadn't been killed, I would have bought an amulet myself. Why don't you ask Svetlana? Maybe she'll let you wear it. Hey, stop it. What if Eleanor's right? <laughs> well, that's what was there as oh. always. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. Did you see what I heard well, it. Well, well, I'm doing my well, best. We'll work on it. <laughs> Are you Miss Pauline Volkova? Yes, why? Come with us, please. 
And why would I do that? You're being detained on suspicion of murder. What? <gasps> Come on, get in. What's going on? Oh my god, guys. Where is she going? Did he just say to murder? Did you see that? Weird. Why are they taking her? I don't know. Let's go. So what's the reason for your hostility towards Eleanor McKenzie? There was no hostility towards her. I was just really worried because of Jaden. And who is this Jaden? Jaden Crofton is my classmate. We had a really huge argument. He asked me to marry him and uh, my dad naturally wasn't happy about it. Well, I understand. You two had a big fight and the groom called it quits and you decided to ask for help in the mysteries of the heart salon? Well, yes. Well, I just didn't know what I could do and I felt very bad about it. I believe you. Eleanor promised you a pack of lies. She said that your groom would crawl to you on his hands and knees, begging for forgiveness, and then you realized that her promises didn't come true and felt even worse. Yes, and that's why I went to see Eleanor yesterday morning. I asked her again. I even offered her a bracelet, but she said without money, she wouldn't deal with my problem. Yes, I get it. That was when you lost your temper, wasn't it? Hmm... Well, maybe a little. And as a result, we have what you might call a crime of passion, motivated by personal dislike. What do you mean? I didn't kill her. I... I can swear on anything you ask me to. Well, Stepan Ivanich, life goes in streaks, doesn't it, huh? Like a zebra. You just received a commendation, a recent promotion to Colonel, and now this misfortune. No, sir. They don't have anything serious against Pauline. I'm sure they don't. It just can't be. Yes. Well, you see, here's the thing. We also wanted to give you a promotion. I've already written a proposition. Thought you'd be my deputy. And... I would go to the precincts if that could get my daughter out of trouble. Well, don't fall apart like this. Your precincts, though. You're still the head of your division, but you see, your guys have to stay out of this case where Pauline is the person of interest. <clears throat> I understand. It's not my first year on the force. Well, all right. Well, Stepan Ivanich. Well, investigation committee people aren't dumb. They'll sort it out. I hope so. The tragedy might not have happened if not for this ill-fated dagger. Agatha, Eleanor's assistant, told us that Eleanor had a habit of keeping this dagger on the table as a kind of souvenir. And so, you took this dagger in a state of uncontrollable anger, didn't you? I'm telling you, I didn't leave a finger on any daggers! It will be really hard to prove that. The prints are indistinct, but I have a video recording we obtained from the surveillance camera the one installed at the entrance to the salon. And it was recording Pauline when Eleanor was being killed. And what? Did this camera record how I killed her? I wouldn't joke in your position. Look at this. This is Eleanor. She came to the salon at 8.30. Then you enter the salon. The time's 8.47. You were there quite a long time, for more than an hour, and didn't leave until 9.58. And during this time, no one else except for you and Eleanor entered the salon. Wait a second. You said that... You said Eleanor died right around half past 10. I left at 10. So someone else must have come in during the remaining half hour. Except that the first visitor after you didn't arrive at the salon until 11.15. And it was she who found Eleanor's body. Is it clear now? So while you keep denying it, we're just wasting our time. Look, this whole thing is crazy. Don't you understand that? I understand you perfectly well. I just told you myself, in the heat of passion, you lost control of yourself. But I'm certain that a good lawyer will be able to prove to the court that you didn't go into this with premeditated intention. And I'm sure that your father 
We'll find you a very good lawyer. Mm-hmm. No, I don't believe that it's Pauline. Well, a woman couldn't give such a strong blow with a dagger. It was driven all the way in. Well, so what? Remember, you brought me a collection of English detectives just last week. Hmm, and how's that relevant? Well, it is. There is a, a story called uh, Laughter in the Dark. <laughs> 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 there. Well, so the Duke's younger mm. daughter got involved with the cook who worked in the castle. Well, then she found out he was cheating and stabbed him with, like, a huge dagger straight from the kitchen, plunged it all the mm -hmm. way in. <laughs> sure, uh, well, those are just books. You can write anything in a book. A girl, a real person, is accused of murder. Lord, you need a break from all these horrors. You should unwind somehow, huh? Clear your head? Nikita said you were going to a restaurant together today, right? Well, yes, we are. That's very good. Honestly, I would be so glad if you could get along with him. Mm, I don't know. He's going to go back to America a month from now. So what? Go with him. I'm okay here. Well, then he would stay here. Just for you. You'll see. <sighs> oh, Lord, I would be so happy. <laughs> One seventy over a hundred. You should go see a doctor. It's all my fault. Don't talk such nonsense. Thank you. Here. If I hadn't made such a scene when Pauline told me that she was going to get married, she wouldn't have quarreled with Jaden. If she wouldn't have gone to that stupid witch, damn it. Well, you meant no harm. Nineteen's too young to go to the registry office. Yes. And now they're in a cell in the detention unit. Do you know what she told me when we quarreled? Mm -mm. She said for you to marry at 48 is normal, but we can't marry at 19. It's funny. Yeah. Now we have to postpone our wedding because of this. And I have already started sending out invitations. <laughs> Jerome is, in fact, a capable investigator. He's never been an idiot. You don't have to be an idiot to make a serious mistake. Coincidence of circumstances is enough. And I sit here and can't do anything, damn well, it. Well, cut that out. You know... I have an idea. Jerome showed me the file, too. He said, you're a professional. You must understand that your daughter was only with the victim when she was killed. Understand? You know, it turns out, Stepin, that Pauline left the salon at 9.58? Yes. And Svetlana came there at 11.15? Yes. And she claims that there was someone in the next room, right? Mm-hmm. Well, then, it turns out that if someone really was hiding there, it couldn't have been Pauline. You think right, but how can we prove that your friend heard it right? Hmm? You're right, we can't. Tatiana, I didn't call you to simply get your thoughts. I, I need to ask you for a favor. Hmm. Yes, of course, Stepin. What do you need? Well, since I can't be seen to interfere, and my guys can't either. Mm -hmm. I still have one chance to somehow affect the investigation. Oh, then what are you up to? Yes. I need a private detective. A capable person. Do you see where I'm going? Hmm. Yes, that you want me to... I uh... want. I really want it. Please, Tatiana, will you help me? Uh, of course, Step, and I'll do my best. Okay. 
Don't worry about the payment. Everything will be fine, really. I spare no expense to save my daughter. Stepan, let's make an agreement. I will take the money only if I need it for expenses during the investigation. Tatiana, thank you so much that you're not leaving me in the lurch, that you aren't holding a grudge. Thank you. <laughs> Stepan, quarrels belong to the past. Tell me, did Andrew advise you to hire me? No. It was Maria who gave me the idea. Yes, that's what she said. You know, Stepan, there's only one person left who can help us. Oh my god, how did you get in here? Well, since I saw you last, I hadn't been to the Mysteries of the Heart Salon, but I got in through the door. Which apparently is hidden from prying eyes. That's strange. The back door is usually always locked. So I guess the last time you forgot to lock it was... by chance on the day of Eleanor's murder? <sighs> Look, I don't know. And what's it to you? You're not from the police. No. I'm on my own. I see. Well, come on in. Hmm. And who hired you? Eleanor didn't have any immediate family. But others certainly do. Tell me, Agatha, why did you hide from investigators that there's a back door to the salon? I didn't hide anything. I'd forgotten all the excitement. Police showed up all of a sudden. They started saying that Eleanor had been killed and my son was sick, so I was already under a lot of stress. Tell me, have you seen this wallet before? Just don't touch it. <laughs> well, I don't think so. It was outside your secret door. Apparently, whoever dropped it was the one who used the back door. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Mm-hmm. Money. Wow. Now, what is this? A ticket? Hmm. Flight 187, Moscow, Tarasov. Nikita Alexievich. Nikita. This belongs to my neighbor's son. Uh, and I know him too. And how's that? Uh, he worked here. A year ago, he made the website for the salon. Uh, but then... What happened? Well, Eleanor seems to have had an affair with him. Well, he's a cute guy, and then he went to America. And when he came back, he rushed back to his beloved woman? There's no love there. I heard her talking on the phone to him. She was rude. She demanded some money from him. What money? I don't know. Some kind of debt. Come on, hurry up. So embarrassing. I invited you and your mother and didn't have time to prepare. That's okay. We'll <sighs> make it. And it turns out that Svetlana heard it right, that there was someone in the next room. Now it's clear that Nikita was hiding. And then he left through the back door, the way he came in. That's why the security camera didn't pick him up. Oh, that's nonsense. Why such a conspiracy? <laughs> if you're gonna kill someone, you should avoid the cameras. It's a no-brainer. Why would Nikita kill Eleanor? Oh, apparently there was a large debt. A bit too large for our Bill Gates. Hmm. 
<laughs> Mother. <clears throat> Let's go, it's ready. Larissa Vasilyevna, forgive me for keeping you waiting. I got stuck at work, so I didn't have time to prepare everything uh, before your arrival. Uh, yes, as I said to Andrew, maybe we shouldn't have bothered Tatiana at all. Mom, cut it out. Let's eat, shall we? I'm oh. really very hungry. Thank you, but I don't eat at night. And I need more. May I do it myself? Yes, of course. Mm. <sighs> this is my favorite salad. <sighs> Very tasty. I didn't mm. know, Tatiana, that you were so good at cooking. Yes. And why don't you try this one here? It's a salad with mushrooms. Mm. I'd love to. Mm -hmm. May I have one more spoonful? Of course. Mm -hmm. Oh, my. <laughs> He's so adorable. <laughs> what do you call him? Watson. <laughs> oh, please don't give him anything from the table. He's not used to it. I don't give him real food. Ah, uh, yes. Hmm. Hmm. Andrew, did you know that Svetka has a new suitor? <laughs> yes, she claims that it's due to uh, the amulet that the witch gave her. <laughs> yes. A present from the other side, right? Andrew, why do you go so dark? Is this a joke? Why from the other side? Well, because that witch was killed a few days ago. My God, that's terrible. Mm-hmm. Who's the murderer? Uh... Unexpected? We thought we might surprise you. Mm. Hello. Well, come on in. <laughs> mm. This is for you. Well, thank you. I feel so good with you that I just can't believe that this is really happening. <sighs> Let me calm you down. This is actually happening. Well, it seems to me that there is something magical in our meeting. <laughs> it's kind of mystical. Do you believe in mysticism? Me? No. <laughs> but I believe in something else. What's that? It's time for us to switch to you. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't drink champagne. My system doesn't uh, deal with it well. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm driving. I get it. Uh, well, to our meeting. I just don't understand how you drive on these roads. Mm. Well, there's so many potholes, not like in California. Ugh, it's so great. Get on the highway, ugh, put your foot down. <laughs> <laughs> and you were in California. Yeah, I just came from there. Yeah, I have business there, I'm back and forth. Mm. <sighs> you see, Andrew, what uh, interesting guests that uh, come to visit Tatiana. Mm. Well, why would you say that, Larissa? <sighs> Guys, did we come at a bad time? No, no problem. <laughs> Tatiana, we just wanted to have a family evening at your place. You've already been to a restaurant with Nikita. Mama. Well, I think I have to go. Mom. I think that you should leave too. To save at least a little of your dignity. <sighs> Mom, wait up. <clears throat> 
I'm sorry. I'll be right back. Mom, why did you just do all that? Larissa, I'm asking you, please finish dinner. Thank you, Tatiana. It was a very interesting evening. But I think it's too much for me. Mom. Mom, hold on. Mama. Hold on. Mom. Uh. Go get her and try to calm her down. Do you think I could leave you alone with a criminal? Don't be ridiculous. Even if he is involved, why would he attack me? Especially in front of his mother. Go on. <sighs> Mom, what's wrong with you? You don't need to tell me that you're upset with me. What do you think? Are you going to compete with that American? Let's talk calmly, okay? And I don't want to talk to you at all. Swear to me that you will not cross the threshold of her house. Oh, Lord. What kind of tragedy has happened? Don't you know? It's a tragedy for any mother when her son can't come to terms with his life. Especially when his personal life turns into a nightmare. Well, and where do you see the nightmare, hmm? In the apartment of your adored Tatiana, uh. yes. Well, I think I have to go too. And why are you leaving, Shura? It's just that I've got a headache. So you should let me take your blood pressure then. Yes, no, 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 let's no, no, do no. It. Come on, come on, sit and talk. Just, I don't want to bother you. <laughs> In fact, it's even good that Shura left. I want to have a serious conversation with you, Nikita. It'd be my pleasure. That's hardly likely. I don't think you'll like this conversation. Even in a nightmare like this, I would not advise you to spend your life with a woman who has romances, with several men at the same time. Mom, she doesn't have romances. There are lots of things you don't know. What I saw was quite enough for me. Oh no, she's just mocking you. She likes to push men together in a room, and they just watch us and fight over her. That's why she invited you today, both you and him. Mama, she did not invite him. You don't know what kind of person he is. Have the courage to face up to the truth. You are in trouble. You need to be saved. And you know what? I'm very cold, son. Please take me home now. It blows my mind that she was killed. Is this really your first time hearing this? How could I possibly know about it? Well, from Shura, for example. I told her all about Eleanor, but she didn't tell me about your relationship with her. She doesn't know about it. Actually, I haven't told anyone that we had an affair. Why not? Because this is my personal business. And in fact, it was kind of strange. Well, she's some witch, a fortune teller. There was no love, just... I went to America and wrote to her that everything was over. Well, apparently she was distraught over that breakup and therefore began to blackmail and threaten you. She called you, right? <laughs> <laughs> you think she called me because she wanted to have me back? <laughs> she just wanted me to give her the money quickly. Did you owe her a lot? Nah, 15,000. In dollars, of course. I didn't have enough money to buy my mother's apartment, so I decided to borrow. You repaid it? Well, of course I did. 20,000. <laughs> Imagine she said that I accrued a lot of interest in a year. That's because you left her. Mm. Yes. Tell me, when did you bring her the money? Wednesday, at about 10.30. Mm -hmm. And then she was killed. Why did you come in the back door then? And go out the same way? Are you interrogating me? No. 
How do you know about all this? Well, because I didn't see you on the security camera footage. So you didn't go in using the front door, and you lost your wallet near the back door, that's how. All right, comrade detective, interrogate me. About the back door, it's easy. I went outside, I caught a ride, the driver dropped me off right near that door. I had no idea whose door that was and where it led. I got out mm. of the car, Eleanor saw me through the window, recognized me, and then she took me in there, it's shorter. We talked about nothing. Hello? So, how are you? Thank you. I'm very well. I gave her the money. What time did you leave? 10 to 15 minutes later. She said she had some kind of business meeting. She said some woman was waiting for her. I went out through the back door. I must have lost my wallet somewhere there. It turns out that at that time, Pauline was still in the salon. <sighs> Listen, I don't really care who she was waiting for and who this Pauline is. I don't give a damn what was going on in her life. You get along with women so well, don't you? <laughs> Depends on the woman. Come on. Honestly, do you suspect me? Honestly? No. Oh, that's great. Can I have my wallet back? This is my mother's gift. Yes, of course. Hmm. I put it right here. Strange. It's more than just strange. How about tomorrow I find it and bring it to you? Don't worry about the money. <laughs> That's a relief. What's the situation? All quiet? Hello, it's okay. Shura left me alone with Nikita. You can't be serious. Oh, don't worry, he already left. But I managed to interrogate him. And he, of course, denies everything, right? No, he doesn't deny anything. Yes, he really was at Eleanor's place on the morning of the 7th. He returned her money and left at about 20 to 10. Pauline was waiting for her in the next room. And do you believe him? As a matter of fact, yes. Oh, do you remember where I put his wallet? Because I tried to find it and couldn't. Well, now he won't have money to take you to the restaurants. <laughs> Andrew, I'm serious. Do you remember where the wallet was? I know where it is right now. It's in my bag. I took it with me. Discreetly. When your Nikita showed up. Why did you do that? Because it's evidence, Tatiana. And in the morning, I'll take it to the police, and I strongly advise you not to tell Nikita. Andrew, are you out of your mind? Nikita couldn't possibly be a murderer. I don't think so. <sighs> I've got a hunch. Tatiana's on the trail of the real killer. Maybe this Nikita had some financial problems in America, and the debt was like a knife to his throat. I think you're right. Now, of course, Tatiana doesn't want to believe he's guilty. He's the son of her best neighbor. Well, yes, maybe that's the reason. Hmm. So we should immediately tell Jerome about Nikita now, and give him the wallet. But who'll do it? Tatiana will never agree to that. Then we should work through Masha. She knows Jerome well. And what'll it be? Pressure on the investigation? We can't do it. There'll be a scandal. Jerome will be grateful to us for the help mm -hmm. when he figures it out. Hello, gentlemen. Hello there. Please, enjoy your meal. Thank Thanks you very us. much. I knew that I'd find you in here. Oh, Leona, I thought we agreed to meet at two. It's ten minutes past two. What? Well, that's because of the meeting. <clears throat> Vasily, at least introduce your young lady to your colleagues. Aliona, my fiance. Very nice to meet you. <clears throat> well, go, and remember, don't be late for dates. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yes, sir. 
Don't ever whistle. You'll never be rich. Andrew said his bride was a plain Jane, an ugly Betty. Well, you know, even Sherlock Holmes made mistakes. Voss must be really something if a girl like that has a crush on him and is jealous. So she's jealous. She loves him. Good for a gay of. Eat up. See you. Bye. Good luck until tomorrow. He'll wait for us in front of the restaurant. Look, Svetka. Well, what if I give you a ride home? I don't want to bother you. Don't even think about it. I really want you to take a good look and then tell me exactly what you think about him. Well, I'm not going to live with him. I'm not going to live with him either. <laughs> I'm just looking. You know, he said that our meeting is sort of mystical. And you, of course, immediately told him the story of Eleanor. I didn't tell him anything. <laughs> and you, please, don't tell him either. Why is that? Well, he would ask what I was doing at the witch's salon, and what would I tell him? That I've never had much luck with men? All right, don't worry. I won't say a word to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Tap your way. Be careful. I heard that this Detective Ivanova is an extremely meticulous woman, but I don't see what her research proves. It proves that Nikita should have been killed, given the fact that he was seen near the salon around the time that her death occurred. But he left a few minutes before Pauline did. That's what he says. He's not an idiot. He understands that there must be witnesses who saw him that morning near the salon. Therefore, he didn't deny it. But what he did while he was there, only Eleanor would know about it. But he said that Pauline was in the office when they were talking with Eleanor. He could well imagine that he and Eleanor weren't alone. So you're saying that he came in after Pauline did? Lied to the detective about the client and deliberately changed the time of his coming and going? It could very well be. Well, then he was really very convincing. How could he possibly have known the girl visited Eleanor in the morning? Only from Eleanor. So he must be telling the truth. He could have learned about Pauline from his mother. Tatiana's her neighbor. She must have told her about the murder and about Pauline's detention. So he turns this around on her. Hmm? All right, then. I'll ask Pauline again if she remembers someone at the salon while she was there. <sighs> yes, and you should find the money. The 20000 if he did return it to the witch. Then it must be somewhere in the salon. But we didn't see it there. Well, then, we'll keep looking. Thanks for the help, Masha. But let's just agree that this conversation never happened. I found it all out by myself. I don't mean to steal any thunder here, but it's better for you and Volkov to stay away from this case. Otherwise, this investigation is turning into some family business. That's agreed. So, Oleg, <laughs> how long will you be here? I'll stay for a while. Actually, I was born here in Tarasov and left for Ural right after college. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to settle down here for good. Really? Yes. I met my other college buddies. Talked about how much work <laughs> there is. There are some interesting offers. That's wonderful. Here's to your success. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Tatiana, so tell me, what do you do? Imagine I'm a private detective. <clears throat> mm. Interesting. And what are you investigating, if I may ask you? What's interesting here, what investigations can there be in Tarasa? Tracking down unfaithful husbands and wives? Hm. Yes, that's true. Nothing interesting. Mm. Mm. Shall we dance? Tatiana, let us leave you for five minutes, and in the meantime, you can get some work done. I'm sure there's lots of unfaithful wives and husbands here. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. 
You awake? <laughs> you can see that I'm awake. It's all because of your favorite neighbor. And Tatiana's sure you have nothing to do with it. Well, are you sure? That's cool. Then why didn't she give me the wallet? Well, she said that she had lost it. Uh? But don't worry, it'll turn up. Of course it will, in court. In what court? What are you saying? I bet you 100% that she took my wallet as a clue to the police. And she did it. By her own volition, voluntarily, and with pleasure. Oh, son, how can you say that about Tanichku? Tanichku? <sighs> Mom, why don't you think about it yourself? Who was arrested on suspicion of murder? Hmm? The daughter of a police chief, who happens to be Tatiana's former boss. They're all in on it. Will he put his daughter in jail? Of course not. They need to frame someone. Well, and what do you think about this? I don't think I know. And some people were following me today. They must have been policemen. Hmm. Well, and what should we do now? I'll go to America before they pick me up. Mom, I'll stay there until they're able to find the real killer. Oh. Mama. Hello, Stepan. This is Tatiana, you know? I see Nikita outside. It looks like he's going to leave. He's putting suitcases in a taxi. All right, are you convinced now? He had a hunch that we were onto him, so he's running away. What if I try to detain him? No, don't do it yourself, it's too risky. He can be dangerous. You better tell me his license plate number. I can't see it from the window. Okay, Stepan, I'll be right back. Hello. Yes, Stepan, I made it. It's a silver Ford, number 471. Thank you, Tatiana. We'll take it from here. Oh, uh, all right. Watson! Watson! Have you done something wrong? No. Damn, I can't be late. <sighs> Hello, I'm Officer Malivanov. Show me Are your you documents. Are you going to Moscow? Yes, number 38. Uh, will we get there in time? Definitely. Oh, by God's grace, I am so worried. Oh, Mom, listen, you should have stayed at home, How could huh? I, Nikita? When will we see each other again? Hands! Bruce! Show me your hands! <gasps> uh. Hey, hey, hey! Out of hey. the car! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> That's all, they got him. He was going to Moscow and then to Los Angeles, but he only made it to the detention center. All right. One was caught and one got away. Wait, who got away? Watson. I forgot to close the door when I was chasing the taxi. Well, okay. He'll walk a little and come home. Mm-hmm. And what if there are dogs? Or if he freezes? <sighs> okay. We'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. Tatiana's cat, huh? Okay, then. Now, now. <clears throat> What? Can't I go to America then? 
I have work there, important business. My visa is all in order. I'm not interested in your relationship with American laws, but about our law, which you were trying to escape. I was not trying to escape to anywhere. <sighs> what, are you gonna try to convince me that I killed her? And you're gonna hold me if I refuse to sign a full confession right now. And then you will find methods to force me? Don't talk garbage, Shubin. Let's get down to business. What time did you get to the mysteries of the heart salon? As I've already told your colleague, Tatiana Ivanova. <sighs> it was at half past nine. And why did you go there? In order to pay my debt to Eleanor. $20,000. <sighs> Your words can't be confirmed, Shubin. We carried out an additional search in Eleanor's salon and didn't find that kind of money there. Only a very modest amount of cash. And how is that my problem? It is. It's obvious that Eleanor hadn't left the salon until the time of the murder. Then where did the money go? Can you tell me? Well, how can I... If you I... can't tell me, then I'll tell you. There was no money because you hadn't paid off your debt to Eleanor. Excellent. You have a scheme, a story. Our version? <sighs> well, according to your version, what is my motive for killing her? It's very simple. The money that Eleanor was demanding of you, I don't think you had it. Or didn't want to pay it back. Are you crazy? You think I killed a person for $20,000? Well, Eleanor could have put a scare into you. She might have told you she knew something very unpleasant about you. Well, we're going to find mm. out. And you haven't found anything. Well, I understand you must have been busy. It's a lot of work, scaring people like this. I also understand you. You wanted to play nice with Eleanor, but it didn't work out. And that's when you lost your temper, isn't that right? Mm. This is insane. I'm not going to say another word without a lawyer. This conversation is over, at least as far as today is concerned. Pauline, honey, Daddy, sweetheart. Daddy. Oh, hello. Well, that's all. Everything is fine. Thank God. It's all over now. <laughs> Actually, it's too soon to celebrate. Why is that? I was released on my own recognizance, which means that they can bring me back here at any moment. My dear little girl, you will never come back here again. I promise you. Well, all right. Are we going to your place or to Mom's? Well, of course to Mom's. She's been waiting for us. <laughs> and I have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you waiting for? Come on out of there. Here you are. Hmm. <clears throat> Jaden, what are you doing here? Well, when he found out that you were in trouble, he rushed over to see me. We sat down and had a man-to-man -man talk. Mm, about what? About his new bride? There is no bride, and actually, I have no one else but you, Pauline. I said those things to you on purpose when we fought, out of anger. Jaden, you are such an idiot. <sighs> All right, get in the car. Let's go. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Shura, hello. Uh, I wanted to talk with you about Nikita and... Why are you here? Do you want to gloat over my grief? Aren't things bad enough? Shura, what what are you talking about? I Why? have only one joy in my life. My only hope is my Nikita. And now, <laughs> you are the reason he is sitting behind bars. <sighs> I thought I introduced you for better, but it turned out for worse. It's really some kind of misunderstanding. It'll soon be cleared up Let and... me tell you something, Tatiana. Don't come here anymore. We are now enemies until the end of days. Shura, but it's really not my fault. If Nikita has nothing to do with it, I'll do anything to help him. Shura, do you hear me?
Hello, Agatha. Hello. Oh, and where are you going? Back home, packing my things, I'm moving. Tell me, Agatha, have you by any chance found money here? Whose money? A stranger's, $20,000. Nikita told me that he brought it to Eleanor, but the police didn't find it. And you thought it was me? You know, I have never stolen anything. I may have some sins, but not that one. And which one? <sighs> the fact that I've been working for that charlatan for three years. Hmm. Well, what was I supposed to do? I couldn't find another job, and I had a baby to raise. His father left us with nothing. Hmm. Uh, why did you choose to call Eleanor a charlatan? Well, what should I call her? If she's been tricking her clients like babies, and in a way you wouldn't even imagine. <laughs> yeah, that is interesting. Will you tell me some more? <laughs> Well, well, of course. She was not a clairvoyant. Those are fairy tales, of course. Mm. But she also mm. had to somehow pull the wool over clients' eyes so that they would believe in her supernatural abilities. Mm -hmm. So she hired several spies. What kind of spies? Well, some guys, I guess, so that they would follow the clients, sniff out where they went and with whom they met. I don't understand why she needed that. Well, she pretended to be a clairvoyant. And these spies gave her information about the clients. How many were there? Well, I think there were two, and then one of them left. Do you know the guy? We met briefly. The other one came to Eleanor a few days ago, asked her to take him back, but she refused him, said that he was unreliable. Did the spies know about the back door? Of course. And do you think that one of them could have possibly pocketed the money? <laughs> well, who can say? Can you describe them? Mm, well, I can try. Ah, although I don't need to describe them. I uh, took their picture with my phone when we were celebrating mm -hmm. our move here. Now, let me see here. I hope I didn't erase it. Oh, uh, well, mm -hmm. ah, here. Here they are, Misha and Oleg. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. <sighs> Hello, Sveta. Hey, Tatiana. What, can't wait to share your impressions? Go on, tell me, what do you think about Oleg? And where is he now? He's in my shower right now. Mm-hmm. He can't hear anything, so you can speak freely. You know, I'd rather come to you. What, is something wrong? I'll explain later. You should just be careful with Oleg. What's the matter? Why should I be afraid of him, huh? All right, come over. See you. Did someone call? Yes, Tatiana. Imagine, so out of the blue, she says, I'll be right there. This isn't like her. Well, you can expect anything from a private eye. She asked me whether you were here or not. It's strange. You said I was here? Well, yeah, why? Um, nothing. I'll just have to hurry then. Where is Eleanor's bracelet? What bracelet? The one you took from the salon. Don't you mess around with me. Hello? Voss, it's Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana. Are you with your girl now? Yes, just went outside for a walk. Do you remember House 32 on the East Avenue? I drove Svetlana there with you. Yeah, I'm literally right outside. Could you go to her apartment number 17? Look after her visitor, a suspicious character. Be careful, I'll be right there. All right. Wait for me here. I won't be long. Wait. What's going on? I need to see a woman in apartment 17 very quickly. Look, I didn't steal any bracelet. I took it to the police. Wait, but how do you know about that? None of your business. I saw you take it. You were pretty lucky. You got some uh, good free bling. Of course you don't want to part with it. But you'll have to. Where is it? I don't have the bracelet, I'm telling you. No, you're starting to get on my nerves. I don't have time. Make it quick. Where is the okay. bracelet? Stop. <sighs> okay. If you're not going to give it to me, I'll look for it myself. And I'll just have to kill you <laughs> so that you don't disturb me. Ah, and here's your friend. She's fast. Shall we go and meet her? <laughs> Come on. Come on. Let's go. 
Come on. No, open it now, open it. or I'm gonna kill you both. Drop whoa, your weapon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. We just fought. It happens, it happens. Things happen. Where's the bracelet? The bracelet! Where is it? Where is the bracelet? So that's what you're doing in here? Shut up, you bitch! Come here! And you get up and give me the bracelet! Whoa. I didn't expect that blow myself. I haven't practiced. You got it all wrong. They were all conspiring, Svetka and her friend and that officer. Well, it wasn't a precinct. Whatever, officer. I don't even care. She's just getting even, you know? That she wanted me to marry her. And it got you so upset that you reached over and grabbed the knife? That was self-defense. She and the cop threatened me. That's interesting. Interesting story, Pankratov. Could you repeat the part about the bracelet? Uh, mm. I don't know anything about any bracelet. That's a damn lie. They're like a gang. They're in this together. Okay. Enough of this clowning around. I was at the apartment that you were renting. And among your things, I found this envelope. Inside? Svetlana Miadova's business card. She dropped this envelope when she walked into the salon and found Eleanor's body. And you tracked her down through this card. I don't know anything about it. That card was planted. You picked up this envelope immediately after Svetlana ran out of the salon. Otherwise, the police, who got there ten minutes later, would have found it. And what does that prove? It proves you were hiding in the room next door, where you watched Svetlana and saw her take the bracelet when she left. We found $20,000, which Nikita gave to Eleanor, right there inside your rented room. You already spent part of the money. On the rest, we found the fingerprints of Eleanor and Nikita Shubin. <sighs> okay, I confess. I robbed that dumb witch. Mm-hmm. And that is null, Pankratov. We also found your fingerprints on the dagger that was used to kill Eleanor. And other than yours, there are no other prints on it. No others, none. <sighs> I've only just now realized that your job is horrible. Why horrible? Ever since I was a child, I've dreamed of being a policeman. Vasily, it's time to say goodbye to your childhood dreams. What do you mean by that? Well, I won't spend my life in fear that something is going to happen to you. And to me, too. I can't even walk down the street with you. You might get shot. Aliona, well, everything turned out perfectly fine. Today. But I don't want any adventures. So, a few minutes ago, I called my dad. And? And he promised to give you a job in his bank in the security office. And what about this job? Well, that's going to be your job. Aliona, for you, I'd do just about anything. Anything at all. Just don't ask me to do that. Oh, I'm going to have such a caring husband. I almost got shot in front of him and he doesn't even care. So that means that your precious job is more important to you than me. Then go and do your stupid job. Well, I had the day off today. I don't care about that. And don't come back until you understand that I'm right. You're wrong about that. And no, I will never stop being a cop. Vasily, stop! You'll come back to ask for forgiveness. But it might just be too darn late! Uh, I had one screw up all of last year. I was following one of Eleanor's clients, and she noticed the tale. She figured it out, came to the salon, caused a scandal. And after that, Eleanor kicked you out? Yeah. And that wretch didn't even pay me. Well, I moved to Moscow, and I thought to settle down there. 
But it just didn't work out. Tough luck, I guess. And you decided to return to your hometown? Well, yes. I talked to Eleanor begging her to take me back. But she kicked me out. I came back around two days later. The 7th at 10 a.m. Why are you bringing me in through the back door? I don't want my clients to see you. Ah, uh, you have someone here or what? What do you care if I do? Come on, tell me what you hinted at over the phone. Well, I've been thinking, since you don't want to play nice with me. I guess we can do this the hard way. Oh. Are you threatening me or what? What can you do? Well, what if I started talking about your business? And what I was doing here? I'll share the details with the police. And you'd be facing jail time for fraud. You won't have time to open your mouth. I'll have you arrested first. In fact, I have a lover in the police, a very big boss. So I'll tell him about your Moscow B and E's. Okay, okay, don't get mad. I overreacted and said something foolish. Well, you know I'm going through a hard time now. That's your problem. Come on, get out. Yeah, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. But do me a favor. I'm fresh out of cash. I told you, you won't get anything from me. Well... So I realized that I couldn't hope for her pity. And then this other thought came to me. After all, there were a lot of trinkets in the salon, worth a lot of money. That became a possible solution. At least give me something, some trinket, something that I could sell. I mean, look, you have lots of them here. Are you out of your mind? These are antiques. Do you even know how much they cost? Come on, just give me 50 bucks. I haven't eaten anything in three days. You really are such a pain. Come on, get out of here. Get out, I told you. <sighs> well, that's it. I'm calling the police. <gasps> so that means that after the murder, you still spent almost an hour there? I got a taste for it. I wanted to take more things. Remembered about that bracelet. And then Svetka came and started calling for Eleanor. Madam Eleanor, may I come in? I brought the photos you wanted me to... I don't understand. I don't get it, Pankratov. You had quite a haul already. Why did you keep going after the bracelet? Well, Eleanor said that it's an antique, and I thought that might be worth a pretty penny. <laughs> I'm going to upset you. This bracelet is, of course, old, but from what I'm told, it's worth no more than 80 bucks. What? It's what they said. So... I got busted for that garbage? What? <laughs> she got her revenge after all, <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> that bitch wasn't even a real psychic. But there was... Something devilish about her. There was. Boss, why didn't you go to Tatiana with Volkov? <laughs> Who needs me there? This doesn't really seem like you. So drink with me. Well, if that's the case, to your health. No, no, no. No clinking. This is awake. Uh, how? Who's awake? My old life. And prior mistakes.
<laughs> Watson? Look at me. That's it. Well, come here. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Uh-huh. That's it. Okay. You're talking in some kind of riddles, Chief. In riddles, am I? Mm -hmm. I was trying to solve one riddle. You're going after a girl. You try this way and that way. You're willing to do everything for her at any time. But for some reason, you don't get any closer. Why is that? Do you know the answer? Who knows? No, everything's very simple. She doesn't love me. And she will never love me, no matter what I do. That's the simple answer. <laughs> you know, Tatiana, it must be fate. I'm the one who had to find your pet. In gratitude for what you've done for me. Thank you so much. I didn't do anything special, just my usual work. Oh, please, don't be modest. I had yet another reason to come. Here you go. This, Tatiana, is an invitation to our wedding. Yes, it's on the 20th in the evening at the restaurant. I beg you, Tatiana, I beg you, you must come. Hmm? So everything will be on time? It's all thanks to your efforts. And I want to tell you, Tatiana, I want you to know that I will not forget this. Thank you so much, Stepan. I had a fight with Aliona too, Chief. You'll make up. Lovers' quarrels are soon mended. And I'm done with Tatiana. It'll never work out. I wanted to ask you one more thing. That Nikita, did you and Andrew have a falling out because of him? What falling out? Somehow I didn't notice. I invited her to the theater today, to the premiere. <laughs> I've been hunting for these tickets for a whole month, but she doesn't care. She's going to the detention center to her American. When she knew that he was getting out, she almost started jumping for joy. Chief, I think that you're rushing things here. No, I'm not in a hurry. I don't think I'm being hasty at all. I can be patient and wait. But sooner or later, patience wears thin. And humiliation, too. Okay. Come on, let's drink. To my brand new life. As they like to say, I'm free now. And without illusions. Hmm, wait a sec. Well, hello, prisoner. I never expected you. Hello. Mm. You're probably not very happy to see me. Are you kidding me? I'm very, very glad to see you. Well, especially after Jerome explained to me that the real killer was caught thanks to you. I understood how everything happened. Anyway, I wanted to apologize to Cut you. Cut it out. It's me who needs to apologize to you. <laughs> For what? Well, because here I am meeting an amazing girl, and I, I don't even have any flowers for her. Well, you can fix that. 